What up YouTube, it's your boy Jermaine, back for another video. This video, I thought I would do another um, video showing rentals in San Francisco during a pandemic. This place is a little bit cheaper than the last place I looked at. It's also a little bit older too. It has a balcony that you can walk out on, out on side. This is very rare in SF because a lot of buildings just don't have balconies. That's a pretty nice balcony right over there at that building. They have balconies, a few. A few there. It's very rare to find a building with a balcony. Look, look at this cool building. There's no balconies there. But this building has a balcony. I really like the whole idea of a balcony because I could store bikes out here. I could have a little barbecue out here. I could have some flowers out here. You know, come out here for a quick smoke, if you know what I'm saying, 420. Um, but yeah, this is what this unit looks like here. So they got internet in this bad boy hooked up. Okay, they got cabinets. A little stove. It's really clean. It looks brand new actually. Not as modern as that other place. But uh, one other thing I must point out about this place versus the other place that I was looking at, this place is rent control, um, which is a really good sign. <laughs> Look at this, they have brand new, brand new ice trays still in the wrapper. Now this unit right here rents for 1827. Now the catch with this unit is, there's a couple problems with this, this, this particular unit, I've discovered. Elevators are really slow. Um, I'm thinking there's 28 levels in this building and the elevator, there's like one elevator, one out of three elevators are working. So that's somewhat of a problem. Like I imagine in the mornings it could be pretty slow trying to get downstairs. So that's kind of one drawback with this building. But one cool thing about this building is the rent won't go up as much. Check out the bathroom. Wow. This is definitely a bathroom from the 70s, 60s. It looks very tight. It reminds me of a hotel bathroom. Kind of reminds me of the bathroom I have at my place back in the TL right now. But this is a very, very tight bathroom. If, if I sat down on this toilet, I would have to like close the door before I sat down, you know? <laughs> But that's nothing to really complain about. Nothing to complain about at all. I mean, very, very nice and open. Let's go check out the other unit. So this unit doesn't face the city. I guess it does face the city because it's in the middle of the city, but I think the more desirable view is to face the other direction. So we will um, go, wow, it just looks insane. I didn't even look down on the street from up here. There's just so many other things to look at besides the street when you're this high up. It's really quiet up here. I can imagine that I could literally have the door open and not be disturbed by the street sound because this is, like I said, on the 14th level. But we're gonna continue to go up. Let's go up to, let's go up to the 16th floor now. So uh, let's go up to the next one. Let's see if these look any different. I imagine that they'll probably look the same. Pretty cool unit. Maybe I should close the door to be nice. <laughs> this is plenty of space for me. Like I would literally like stick my bed in like this little corner and like all this other part would just be like, you know, YouTube and Shopify and stuff like that. So this would be perfect spot for me. Plenty of places to store bikes and stuff like that. And it has somewhat of a separate kitchen too. I go. We're just gonna keep waiting on these elevators. Cause that's what we got to do, we gotta wait. <laughs> hey, let's walk over to 1621. Um, this one is on this side of the street too. I wanna keep look at one that's on like that side. <laughs> so that oh, I can see that angle of the city. Let's go in and check this one out. This one has a different 
feel to it. It feels more echoey. Maybe it feels more echoey because it doesn't have that center divider thing in the middle blocking off the kitchen from the from the this other area. So that's my, my guess here on this one. This, it feels more, um, definitely the appliances look more modern here. Everything looks more modern here. They just did a little retouch. This is my guess what they did to this building. A couple years ago when the, when the rent, when the, when the, when the, when the, rent, when the real estate market was going up like crazy and they had these new buildings like this popping up because this is like a luxury building and then you had like this building like right down here popping up which was a luxury building too. Well, this building didn't pop up for a long time. But you had like, you know, that building and you had all these other buildings around. So what I, what I believe they did to this building was they took certain units and they just like updated it just a little bit to make it look a little bit more modern. So they, that way they could raise the price to a couple hundred dollars, you know? Um, because remember the one upstairs, it didn't look like this. Um, let's check out the, the restroom. Let's see if it looks any different. It definitely looks a bit more modern in here. Yeah, that toilet looks a little bit more modern. I mean, it's still tight, but wow, it definitely looks a lot more polished and clean and it has that final touch look to it. You know what I'm saying? It looks very modern in here. I'm kind of can, kind of curious to go see the top one. So this one rents for $18.99. So this one is slightly more expensive than, than the other one. The other one was eight, 1829. And we're gonna go look at 1727 and this one is 2036. So my guess 1727 will have the, the, the view of the city and maybe it'll have a different layout of some sort. I kinda like the other unit more. Believe it or not, I like the other unit more because I like that divider in the middle. I don't really care about it being updated. But once again, if this is a rent control building and if you wanna stay in a rent control building for like five years, 10 years, 20 years, if that's your, if that's your whole thought plan, you wanna make sure that you pick one that's gonna be pretty modern because in, in 10 years from now, these appliances are gonna look old. In 20 years from now, these appliances are gonna look old, but the ones downstairs on the 14th floor will look really old in 10 years or 20 years. Usually in rent control units, they don't like to update things. That would probably explain why the elevator is, has been broken down for years. Um, I was looking at Yelp reviews when I checked out this place and a lot of people were talking about the elevators, they've been broken down for years. So as of, as of now, I know that if I move here, there's gonna be elevator problems. There's going to be elevator problems. Um, there's gonna be one elevator and that's just, a situation, you know, like, it's just how it is. Sometimes you, you pick that apartment and when you pick that apartment, there's no parking. So you always constantly have to deal with this parking situation and you just never get over it. And this could be the type of situation with the elevator in this building. It sounds a bit more noisier up here. I mean, we're higher up, but it sounds a bit more noisier. Wow, look at all this action going on. Like there's people working on this rooftop over there. And I see some people walking their dogs on this rooftop over there. Look at that huge rooftop. That's like a private park on top of this building. This is one reason why I love skyscrapers because when you come to skyscrapers, you notice things that you just don't notice when you're on the ground. Like you just don't notice. Like that's a freaking full length park. Maybe we should go check out that building next. <laughs> Cool, right next to the, the courthouse. So if there's protests, you can always walk outside and look at the protests, see what's going on out there. And once again, we a long way up. <laughs> okay, let's keep this adventure going. I like this unit, this unit is pretty chill. And once again, I said that they updated this unit and look, this is just proof that even added USB ports. So this one was this is one of those units that they, they definitely, they tried to gentrify it, you know, to get some of the new techies to move in. But it looks like to me the techies have moved up because they don't want to be here no more because they figured out that this ain't a good deal. They can go live in Tahoe and it's safer. There's no homeless people everywhere. 
Let's go up two more flights and go check out the other one. But wait, before we go up to the top level, I gotta show you all this closet space because I love this closet space. I mean, for real, I can stick all of my clothes in here and then put my few shoes just right up here. And then I can have space for like, you know, boxes and Shopify stuff and stuff for eBay and Amazon and other businesses can just be all in this section right over here. And it don't even have to be out here. I like this. I'm loving this dig right here. I can even stick a bike in this bad boy if I wanted to. Okay, one floor up on the 17th floor. And we have 1727. Wow, this one's very bright. Yeah, very, very, very bright. Wow. The main event right here is this angle of the city. With a big ugly roof down below. And if you guys ever want to see Twitter's rooftop, that's Twitter's rooftop over there. Nice view of the city. That's Costco way over there, that large rooftop. You know, different angles, diff different places in the city, you see different rooftops. Like, this is the Billy Graham Arena. Never seen their rooftop like that before. Nice views of the city. This is what you pay for. You pay for the views. And you also pay for this unit. It looks like this unit is slightly updated as well compared to the first unit that we looked at. Um, pay close attention to the appliances. You know, they just slap some cheap Home Depot appliances here. Let's look at these cabinets. See these slum shut? Very cheap cabinets. I mean, they're, they're, they're nice cabinets, but they're not like the cabinets from that video yesterday where like they're super smooth. Like I can tell that they sort of threw this place sort of together. I mean, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just, just I, mean, I don't know another way to describe it. Nice closet space. Nice little oven here. This looks brand new, actually. It doesn't look like it's been used ever. I smell it. It smells like it's been used. <laughs> it smells like some popcorn up in that bad boy. Oh, I guess it's the thing. They give you two free ice trays whenever you, you get an apartment here at Fox Plaza. I've noticed that throughout this place. Let's check out this closet. This closet is slightly smaller than the one, the floor, the floor below, but that's okay. It's still a large closet. Check out the bathroom. Once again, this one's one of those updated. They definitely updated it. Yeah, it looks pretty slick and smooth in here. I like that shower head on top. That waterfall shower head they added. Mm, this is pretty much it. All right, so this one is um, this one is the more expensive one because it faces this view, which is, I mean, not that. I mean, yeah, it's better than the other view, but I wouldn't really mad. I wouldn't really mind having this view or the other view. It doesn't really matter. But this one is twenty thirty six. I'm just looking at this building straight ahead. These are the Trinity buildings and they're finally going up and I see that they have a rooftop over there at uh, that's 3338 Street. Not the building with the crane, but the building right next to the crane. I really want to check that building out because I didn't know they had a rooftop, but they have a, they have a rooftop area, which is pretty cool. I'm like super distracted. I, I love I love these, these angles. I love these views. But anyway, um, let's get out of here. Don't think I would rent this one, but this would be a really cool unit to rent. I think this would be a really cool rent, unit to rent. Like I would like ideally have my bed like here. Like maybe like hang a sheet over. And then this would be like my whole office area and everything else that I do. 
So yeah, pretty cool. Let's get out of here. Conclusion, just got back from Fox Plaza. What do I think about Fox Plaza? Fox Plaza is really, really cool. Let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about it. The pros and the cons. The pros, it's very, very centrally located. It's like smack dead in the middle of the city. I kind of like that. I love high rise living. I like the fact that this is a rent control building. I like the fact that they're, 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 it has a balcony like way up there. For the most part, it, it doesn't really matter what, what, what side of the building. Like like if, if I was gonna live there, it really doesn't matter what side of the building. I would, 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 wouldn't mind either side. I guess one side would be the sunnier side in the, the morning and then the other side would be the sunnier side in the afternoon. That might make a difference, but overall, I think that the building's pretty cool. Things I really don't like about the building, these are things that can be a deal breaker for just about anyone, okay? So I went on Yelp and I looked at some of the reviews because this is something you should do if you're going to move into a place, especially a place that, that you're going to sign a year lease. You should get a lot of information about it, right? So I went on Yelp and found out that they have like a rodent problem, okay? So there's like rodents going around now i know when a lot of you guys hear that that may sound very very bad like oh my gosh there's rodents in the building but there's a lot of old skyscrapers that have rodent problems so it's really nothing to like it's really nothing to really be afraid of it's just something that you just don't hear about much just like most restaurants have a rodent problem but it's something that you just don't hear about much because you just don't really hear about it but yeah like it's just, it's just a problem so you can um buy these things that you plug into the wall and it'll keep rodents away um, so that that's one option. Another deal breaker is the elevator. Now, when I went there, I read on Yelp for, for, for a long time, they've had elevator problems. So this is nothing new. This is nothing new. And the leasing, um, person told me that, yeah, they're going to, they're working on the elevator. And of course, right before the pandemic, they were upgrading the elevators. And now since the pandemic started, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to fix the elevators because, with the pandemic, you know, it's just things are a little bit slow. So, you know, there's like, there's there's one elevator working and this is like, um, I mean, this is a skyscraper for crying out loud. Like, you know, there's more than 30 levels in this building and, and there's one elevator working. And I think they said that there was another elevator, like a freight elevator, but people were using that to move. And it, it seems like there are a lot of movement in the building, like a lot of activity. I remember waiting on the elevator for like two minutes, like to go upstairs. It literally took me like two minutes to went on the elevator because I, I don't know. It was like, it, it went up and then it went like to 14th and then it went all the way up to like 20th. And then it just, it just, it just kept doing weird stuff. So I just was just downstairs waiting and, you know, just moving from floor to floor. It took a lot longer than usual. Elevator could definitely be a deal breaker. And also the mail, the mail, the mail. This could be a huge deal breaker. But if the price was right, I would totally move to this this location. Um, if 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 the price fell under fourteen hundred dollars a month, with all of the problems in play, the rodents, the mail situation, the elevator, rent control, fourteen hundred dollars, amazing views of the city. Um, th I, I would move there if it was like fourteen hundred dollars a month. But for eighteen hundred, eighteen ninety nine, eighteen twenty seven, two thousand thirty six. Now I'm okay on that. I am totally okay with the current situations and the current problems. With the mail situation, um, how you could combat the mail situation is there is a PO, um, not a PO box, but there is a USPS location about one block away, two blocks away from the building location. So you could get a PO box there or a mailbox there and have all of your mail sent to that location and have your packages sent to that location. That way your packages will not just be downstairs in the elevator room because Someone could easily like just be downstairs waiting for the elevator, see a box, take it right upstairs with them. And no one would really pay them any attention because it could just be their box, you know? So in that case, I would probably get a mailbox, but I think I'm going to continue looking. There are a lot more places in the city to look at. So I just, just want to make a video talking about this. Don't want to make this video too long, but just want to give my two cents and just answer a couple questions because a lot of people wanted me to make videos of um, showing places that are a little bit cheaper. And this place is a little bit cheaper than the one from yesterday. But anyway, if you guys want to see more videos like this from me, hit that subscribe button. Also, give your homeboy Jermaine a thumbs up and 
feel free to let me know what you guys think about this this property in the comments below because not only will i find out about this property but other people can find out things about this property and this can help everyone so anyway like comment subscribe and peace out yo